When a person who has hypothyroidism becomes pregnant, they need to increase their levothyroxine dose by 30%. Now, why is this the case? To understand this, you need to understand what thyroid dysfunction actually is. We have an organ in our neck here called the thyroid. Its function is to secrete energy molecules called T3 and T4 that go throughout our bloodstream and essentially energize our body to make energy. Now, the mantra is your brain, particularly an organ called the hypothalamus in your brain, secretes TSH, a molecule called thyroid stimulating hormone. It goes down to your thyroid, acts on its receptors, and engages the thyroid, become active, and produce the T3 and T4, also called th thyroid hormone, to go across your bloodstream and into your cells and produce energy. So, if it's working right, T TSH comes from your uh, head, it goes to your thyroid, stimulates it to produce T3, T4, and out goes um, these molecules to your body cells and create energy. However, if your thyroid is not working right, then no matter how much TSH is coming into it, it's not going to be making these T3 and T4 molecules to energize your body. And therefore, you need synthetic thyroid hormone, also called levothyroxine. And this, you need this in something called primary hypothyroidism. Primary because it's affecting your thyroid primarily, and hypo as in the function is decreased of your thyroid. So in pregnancy, you can think, why do you need extra levothyroxine? Well, as a whole, now you need energy not only for the mother, but you need it for the baby as well. So overall, you do need extra energy, so increase your levothyroxine. But at a physiological level, there's a lot more going on. There's a little more nuance to this. When someone becomes pregnant, they have this increase in a um, hormone called beta-HCG. This beta-HCG has different effects, but it also does oddly act like the TSH molecule I mentioned before, the TSH molecule coming from your hypothalamus stimulating your thyroid hormone. So if you have extra beta-HCG, it's going to act like TSH and make your thyroid go into overdrive and make more T3 and T4, which is actually what you want during pregnancy um, because you want extra thyroid hormone for mom and the baby. However, um, too much, again, is not great either. Everything in moderation. So you have another hormone during pregnancy called estrogen, and this increases a molecule called TBG thyroid beta globulin. This is kind of like a buffer in your bloodstream. Um, the more thyroid beta globulin you have, the more it can bind to extra unnecessary T3 and T4 thyroid hormone being produced and keep your thyroid hormones at a baseline normal. So um, this is kind of like a fail safe, you can think about it. So this is kind of what happens in a normal pregnancy, right? If your thyroid is working right, you're making more T3, T4 um, for your baby and the mom, but you're also making sure that there's not too much, uh, right? You're making TBG uh, with the estrogen to make sure there's a buffer going on. But if your thyroid at a baseline is not working, you have primary hypothyroidism, then let's think about it. You're making beta HCG and it's really trying to stimulate your thyroid, but in primary hypothyroidism, your thyroid is at a baseline dysfunctional. So no matter if you're stimulating your TSH or beta HCG, you're not really making adequate amount of T3 and T4. So you have low amounts of T3, T4. Now, you're still gonna have estrogen going on if you're pregnant and having primary thyroid dysfunction. With estrogen, you're going to increase your TBG, your thyroid beta globulin in your blood. This is going to bind whatever little amount of thyroid you're even making. And overall, your thyroid hormones are going to go down and you're going to feel very low energy. Your baby's not going to get out of energy. So this is why, because you're taking exogenous thyroid hormone, the levothyroxine, you do need to increase it by up to 30%. And the guidelines state when you become pregnant, immediately increase it up to 30%. And every four weeks, have a recheck with your PCP to make sure your thyroid hormones and thyroid levels are adequate for you and your baby. And we adjust it accordingly. So that in a nutshell is hypothyroidism and how you treat it by increasing levothyroxine by 30% in pregnancy.